Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to download the Google Play Store. I have it right there on the new, brand new Amazon Fire Max 11. Uh, a couple of things before we start this though. One is Amazon does not really want you downloading this. Uh, they even say on their website it's not compatible with the Google Play Store. It is, see mine right here. It is compatible, they just don't want you having it. They want you to use their own crummy app store. Uh, a two is that this may or may not work for you. For some reason, multiple people with the same device might work for one person, might not work for the next person. And three, if it does not work the first time, which for mine it actually worked the first time, if it does not work the first time, delete all the files, restart, uh, retry. And then, yes, because I would say four is you might actually be able to download Google Play Store and not be able to sign into it. That has happened to me multiple times. So hopefully it'll work for all of you. All right, first things first, then we will go into settings. You have to make sure you do this, otherwise it's not gonna work. Go into security and privacy. From there, apps from unknown sources. Hit that. Once it pops up here, Silk Browser. Hopefully y'all can see that pretty easy. Make sure that is toggled on, allow from this source. That will allow you to actually download the files you need to download. Next, you have to go into the Silk Browser, uh, and it has to be Silk Browser for this. Next, I just Google, easiest thing here, uh, download, download Google Play Store for Amazon Fire, and then for mine, it was the first one here, how to install Google Play Store on Amazon Fire. It's from the How To Geek. So go on into that. And then, of course, you can follow these instructions. But what you do is just keep going down. And it tells you what to do, of course. And then you will need to download four different APKs. So first is the Google Account Manager. I did the first one here for the Fire HD 10, 9th Gen, 11th Gen. Uh, so this the specific device is not on here yet, but this is what worked for me this time around So Google account manager, so you will hit that You'll hit this download APK. I of course already did that Then you'll go once it's download it will come up here and it will be downloaded make sure you download it next you do Google account Oops, excuse me next you do Google service framework Again, I did for HD 10 9th and 11th gen again. You hit it Hit download APK, and it will ask you on each of these, uh, it is from an unknown source, it might hurt your device, something down those lines, make sure you just hit okay and you accept it. Next will be Google Play Services, again, HD 10, this top one here, we hit that. We hit that. And then I did this very top one here. So you just hit the download. And then again, you'll have to download APK for it. And then last but certainly not least, we Google Play Store. We will hit that. And again, this top one here, you hit that, which will download it. Uh, then make sure you hit the download, download APK and make sure you accept it. Uh, again, each, each time you do this, it will say something like, this may harm your device. Just say OK and download it. Then once you're done doing all of those, once they're all downloaded, again, it will pop up down here. Then what you do is we go into the files, which I keep on losing here. Okay, right there. Files. Hit that. It will say something like this. No items. Go up here, make sure y'all can see that. So go up there, hit the triple lines, go down to downloads. You have to make sure you do this in order. So one way to tell is by the time. So like mine was 733, 733, 734, 730, I think four. So make sure you do it in order. So then again, you'll hit it. You'll hit continue and then you'll hit install. I already installed it. Make sure that installs all the way. Then you'll hit Continue, then the frameworks, install. Make sure it installs all the way. The next one, I just again, it will say unknown for the first bit there. Continue, Google Play Services, install. Continue, Google Play Store, install. Make sure you install all of those. Again, of course, this will not work if you do not. 
hit install. Then once you do all of that, you should have the Google Play Store here. You will go into it. The first time you go into it, it will have you log into your account. Just like as if you were to get a brand new tablet. Well, I mean, this is a brand new tablet. But if you were to get a brand new tablet that this comes with, it'll do basically the same thing. You'll, you'll log into your Google account, and then you should be able to get onto the Google Play Store. Again, probably one of the best things about the Google Play Store is you can actually get the legitimate YouTube app, uh, whereas through the Amazon App Store, you are stuck with these really bad, very, very bad, uh, they're more web-based. It basically brings you to like, the web, their website, to the YouTube website, and it's just terrible. This is the actual YouTube app, which is, of course, awesome. So if you follow these steps, it should hopefully work for you. Again, for some reason, some devices, it just will not work. Uh, and you might have to wait until they come out with one for this actual specific device. But as of right now, this is working very well. And hopefully it'll keep on working very well here. Uh, as again, it all works as of right now. All right, guys, hopefully this will be helpful to you. Again, Google Play Store, way better than the Amazon App Store. Amazon App Store is just terrible. Uh, I don't know why they do not include Google Play Store, but they don't. Let me know if this worked for you or if it did not. Again, you might have to delete all those files and reinstall them. And by that, I should mention that real fast, is by that I do mean all of these files. You can delete each of these files and then retry it. Again, for one of my tablets, it took, I think, three or four tries before it actually took. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for a bunch more videos to come on this tablet. As always, I really do appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.